everyone here from the Big Mango. Yes, I am back in Bangkok after a brief visit to Pattaya. And I hope you enjoyed it. But this is the last vlog in the series. And I'm flying back to England tomorrow. But I thought I'd show you a little bit of the backpacker area, so to speak, here in Bangkok. I'm close to Khao San Road. And yes, this is Khao San Road. And just opposite it, you also have some beautiful temples. So if you want to get some culture, you go there. If you want to get wasted, however, you come here to Khao San Road. And yes, there you see Tanon Khao San. This road was constructed in 1892 during the reign of King Rama V. And Khao San literally means mulled rice. So mulled rice and somewhere in this area maybe not necessarily this street but there would have been a big rice market here in bangkok hence the name cow sun and yes like i said this is a very very important street for backpackers because they base themselves here hi hello how much is for you 150 no, you said 100 just now. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. How much? Uh, maybe 50 baht. Ah. You can't. Ah, okay, 50. Yeah. 50 yeah. for this one. How do I eat it? Eat everything. You eat everything? Yeah. Okay, here you go, scorpion. Okay. Now I just give you some. I eat everything, eh? Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Right, and very early on in this vlog, I am a little bit nervous trying a scorpion on a stick. And what else you got? Is it snake? Snake. Snake, and you also have spider. Spider, centipede. And centipede. Yeah, so obviously insects and other stuff is part of a diet over here, but I uh, never had a scorpion before, so here we go. actually quite crunchy have you tried it no, <laughs> I tried you it haven't. <laughs> it's all right <laughs> it's crunchy but what, what, what else do you taste surely you have to taste well you haven't eaten the body yet right I haven't no you're right I actually haven't haven't <laughs> haven't figured out what's the state if there's anything inside it's just like wind maybe I don't know let's have another one here let's have everything, everything there. let's go for another leg there I can't taste anything but at least now I can say I've tried it, eh? <laughs> oh, man. Well, I've not, I've not had the body quite yet. Uh, okay, so... Right, I think, I think I'm just going to have a, the whole thing in one, so... I don't know if there's one part of it you're not supposed to eat. I'm not sure, but... You'll find out soon. <laughs> you know, it's actually not too bad. Is it? It's actually all right. You've tasted anything, the body? Like I said, it, it's like a, it tastes, it, yeah, the body obviously is very dried right. and inside it's a little bit of a windy taste. It was, so like, a, it, well, it, it's, mo it's more wind than meat than, than anything. <laughs> more wind. But it, yeah, okay. but in a way I'm actually quite pleased because I don't know what, yeah. going, what it would have tasted like. <laughs> but yeah, thank you, Kok Kun Kao. That's very nice. Yes. Thank you, so. Yeah, weird experience, but at least now I can say I've done it. Hi guys, hello. And what else have I got here? Some of the fruit shakes you get here in Khao Sun Road. Mangosteen is not something I see every day. And oh, you've got the mixed fruit as well, so 60 for smoothies. And over there, they do say 50 for the fruit shake. And I'm expecting a big discrepancy between the prices around all the stalls here. But anyway, let's continue our walk. And you got some t-shirts over here. Right, you know what? I actually feel like I need proper food after that 50 baht scorpion. So here we go. Hello sir, how are you? What have you got here? You got some pork? You got some chicken? What is what is this one? Chicken, chicken liver. Chicken liver, okay, yes, yeah. And this is the pork. Okay, I'll just have a pork one. Is it alright? Thank you. 20 baht? How many? No, just one. I'll just have one. Thank you, sir. 
yeah so loads of clothing stalls and food stalls around here and of course you got a 7-eleven which i explained in a previous vlog is your friend here in thailand and yeah this woman selling the scorpions so she started off at 150 and then uh actually got it for 50. i probably could have got it for less thank you sir thank you. i'll just try some of her the grilled pork here yeah? because the scorpion like i said didn't really kill my appetite so to speak oh that is very nice it's cold it's not hot but it's got a what is on this sir what is the the spice spice mm. pork. pork but what is what is on because it's very nice yeah. what what have you what have you put on uh, yeah. sauce so spicy i was showing it so that's where they make it over there no the pork is really nice and i think that's a good deal for 20 baht so yeah, thank you sir thank you right only just started at Carlson Road and I'm already spending a lot of money but that's fine we are here to enjoy ourselves and yes in between the street food yes you do have some western brands as well that can cater for your needs and yeah I do smell some marijuana over here let's just find out what she charges for her scorpions Sawadi, how much? Uh, scorpion <laughs> 150 okay now it's too much here <laughs> no it's good it's it's, it's okay, fine you okay. cheap. let's see if i can get it for 20. oh no no oh, okay <laughs> there you go so 50 yes, for the very small one and her scorpions over there a little bit bigger but uh no it's all right what do you sell sir what do you sell beer yeah no it's all right i don't i don't drink alcohol but it's all right thank you sir thank you yeah so just to remind you of a currency so one british pound is about 45 baht so the taste of a scorpion a very very tiny scorpion was about one pound something and obviously the pork on a stick 20 baht a lot cheaper so you do get some bargains and you i think you do need to bargain with these people unless there's a specific price on there what have you got roti hello sir how are you good good just checking so roti prices i've had enough roti on this trip but yeah thank you very much and you can see tuk-tuk drivers as well waiting for people to carry and yeah lots of people drinking beer and having happy hour i mentioned it's about 5 30. Yeah, lots of tattoo places as well you can see their lucky beer Lucky beer here in Bangkok. Hello guys, hi, how are you? What have you got? Beer? Oh, some of the prices for beers here and stuff. But no, it's okay, yeah, thank you. So 100 baht here, rather than say 90, that you find in other parts of the city. And here's some uh, t-shirts, clothing options for your trip here in Thailand. Some long trousers as well if you want to enter the temples and just a reminder not to urinate in this area because you will be fined 2,000 baht check this out cocktail bucket a mix of cocktails there for 250 and a place called Khao San Palace not exactly sure what this is but I can see they are very 420 friendly and more street food prizes here pad thai egg pad thai chicken shrimp french fries 60. and yeah i'm actually surprised that it's so laid back because it is a very very popular street with backpackers certainly maybe they're all in the pubs and of course it's not high season just yet but yeah, henna tattoo is very popular. Hello, sir. And guess what, guys? You know, I avoided the suit shop in my other vlog here in Bangkok. And this is probably what I would have had to pay if I wanted a suit for one of those Tuk Tuk drives. So 99 euros. Mind you, actually, I don't think that's too extortionate. In London, you'd probably pay double, if not triple. And... 
Right, here we go, some smoothies. Some of the options that they've got. Hi, hello. How much for the dragon fruit? Oh, 60 baht, yes. Dragon fruit, so that's the name of this fruit here. Which I've always wondered what it's called, so now I know, dragon fruit. Yeah, if you watch my channel for a bit, you'll know I'm a big fan of smoothies. And over here, six, 60 baht is a very good price. And you can see just more street food sellers getting ready. There is a fire where they would cook their meat, or grill their meat, and some of the other ingredients they got there. Yeah, just a, just a lovely area to come and stroll around. Khao San Road. Oh, thank you very much. Excellent. It's not the, it's not the color there. This color. Because that, that's white and that's a, a pink one. Is, is this the same? I just want to check if this is what I ordered. This one. Is this, is this color? Okay. There you go. You might want to change this on the menu. If yeah, that's the case. But yeah, thank you very much. Anyway, let's have a sip. It's a different color than I thought I would get. So hopefully it still tastes all right. Very nice. You know what? When I was in Pattaya, I said I could taste fig in the smoothie. I think it was a dragon fruit. I think it was this one. Because that's the exact taste that I had. So yeah. Kun Ka, guys. Thank you very much. Yeah, see you later. Bye bye. Yeah. Oh, I need to pay. Oh, gosh. Look, I'm so excited with this movie, I forgot to pay. So, sorry about that, guys. There you go. Thank you. That's for me forgetting to pay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. Bye bye. Yeah, so, yeah. Just. Just in case people thought I was avoiding my financial obligations. Yeah, honest mistake. Got uh, carried away in a moment there. But yes. Let's carry. Let's carry on and see what we can find. Look at all the beer getting delivered for another big night out. More jewelry. And necklaces, etc. Here you go, there's our Mu Thai fighter. Getting ready for battle. And yet another tattoo center. People getting ready for some music show. You've got a lot of henna places as well. Henna tattoos, very popular. And braids for the hair. Look at that. Yeah, so a very bohemian alternative touch. Yeah, in this street in Bangkok. And you don't see many Thai people, have you noticed? It's all backpackers from different parts of the world. Very international edge in this street. Some people trying to get through all the traffic of people. Hello, sir, what have you got? How are you? It's for YouTube. Is okay? YouTuber. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you my card. What have you got to sell? See, see for the people, what, what have you got? Floating market. Drop room market. Oh, that's where you can go with a train. Uh, train market. The train market, yes. So, one day if I'll return to Thailand, I think that's definitely something I'll want to do. And crocodile shows and elephant village. ATV. Ah, ATV. You can go. I'll give you my card, sir, if you want to have a look. YouTube. Oh, I look, yeah. I look, I look. You look, okay. Nice video. Yes, I. Kaur sir. Thank you. Hello, hi. How are you? Good, good. Yeah, obviously you can get the smoothies, but you can also get the fruit packaged up like that. And yeah, there you go. Coconuts for sale, 60. And you remember from our previous vlog that about a kilometer or a kilometer and a half away from here, it was the Grand Palace. Where am I going now? No, sir. No, I'm just. I'm from South Africa. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Some people remember just the 2010 FIFA World Cup. FIFA oh, yeah. World Cup. FIFA World Cup, my what friend. What do you do now? 
I'm just taking a vlog of Khao San Road. YouTuber, right? YouTuber, yes sir. Yes sir. How long you stay here? Just one night. So okay. I'm leaving again tomorrow, yeah. I was okay. in Thailand for a few days. Ooh. Up to yeah. where? No, I go back to England. Oh, yeah. Yeah. England and Liverpool. Liverpool, you support Liverpool? You never walk and alone. Many Thai people support Liverpool. Why is that? Why you like Liverpool? You never walk alone. Who? You never walk alone. Oh, I never walk alone, and you never walk alone. Uh, same. <laughs> Have a good day. Have you too, sir. You too. I'll give you my card. Yeah. Yep. You can go have a look. What's your name? Joy. Joy. I'm Billy. Billy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. There's a card for you. Oh, I have subscribe for Please, you. Please, my friend. Yes. Uh, you hear that, guys? They are gonna subscribe, and so should you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah from Thailand, Khao San Road, the best yeah. place. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yeah, Thai people, very friendly, of course. And yeah, check this. God, just keeping order here. Hello, sir. Hi. Hi, sir. But it's all very relaxed. And you can see the Body Lodge, boutique hotel, and quite a nice building, I have to say. Here we go. Let's have a look. Check that out. Peach and panties, erotic and kawaii. Hello, sir. How are you? <laughs> very good. Some very interesting shop names. And here you get some more t-shirts and merchandise. You can get some luggage over there if you forgot your luggage. All different kinds of street sellers here. Hi. Hello, what is this? Frog. You can buy kebab here for 60 baht. 250 for uh, oh for a big jug. Yes. Bucket I pineapple orange. Red Bull I hear is from Bangkok. Red Bull Red Bull is they say it's Austrian but it's not. Kopkunka, thank you. So that's another interesting fact about Thailand. Is they invented Red Bull. And I know that might upset a few people in Austria, but it's nothing personal guys. Yeah, as I said, 420 friendliness here in Bangkok. And you can see over there, the stoner. And there's a big sign there, Buddy Group. Wonder what that's about. And there's a big sign with a Chang beer that they drink here in Thailand. Check here, I love Khao San. Yes, Mr. McDonald, we do. And... Yeah, no parking, but for some reason there's a lot of parking over here. And there's another spirit house you can see there with a red cool drink, red soft drink. No Fanta, but I've noticed this alternative red soft drink is very popular to place there. And some other offerings as well. Cow on silver. Not sure if I sell solder. Probably some jewelry shop. Look at that, my darling. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. How are you? Hey, not. Hey, not tattoo. Hey, not tattoo. I can get the Mike Tyson. Yes. <laughs> yes, Hena is very, very popular in this street as well. Some of the designs you can get. And yeah, lots of beads and necklaces. Hello, sir. How much for your Scorpio? Okay. How much? Okay. No, it's too much, my friend. Okay. Okay. How much? I had one over there for yeah. this side. No. 80. 80. No, no, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. okay you want one more? No, no, no. It's good. It's good. It's good. I, I'm, I don't like it anyway. So yeah, thank you. Thank you, my friend. Here you go guys, you can certainly bargain with the scorpion sellers and obviously I had the smaller scorpion for 50 could get the big one for 85 but just as well I didn't have a big one because I would have been a little bit scared Oh check that out This guy is very very happy waving in the wind and I have to say I've not experienced any issues with vlogging, taking videos, except for now. So there was a woman 
with her stand that said no photos and she clearly didn't want me to film there but in general no it's all right my friend thank you but in general people here seem very content with a camera which is good right everyone night has started to show its head here in Khao San Road and I just quickly went to the 7-eleven got some water and an interesting snack maybe just go back to the hostel and show you where I'm staying we just say goodbye to Khao San Road for now and still walking around in the area towards my hostel and you can see this very interesting building over here I think this might have a Portuguese Chinese touch and how's it guys you're right yeah. let me know in the comments if you're familiar with this architectural design could it be a mix between Portuguese and Chinese you can see street music as well and yes more tattoo parlors as well with studios in this part of town jewelry shops lots of travel agents so you can come here and book the rest of your trip in Thailand and it makes sense for them to be based around here given there's so many backpackers in the area anyway let's cross here and yeah the plan is just to go back to the hostel very quickly give you a quick tour of a room and then we'll head out again to see a little bit of Bangkok at night see where we'll end up and just to orientate ourselves where we are you can see we are still here in Ratana Kosin we are on the Ratana Kosin cultural route so we are over there and Khao San Road where we were just now Yeah, and just passing another beautiful temple here another beautiful what yeah unfortunately it's closed but you can see that beautiful golden spire there that is very very Thai isn't it and I absolutely love it and there you can see more information about this what this monastery is the first great royal temple of okay there's gonna be a tongue twister Racha Wara Viharan hope I did well there which was built in the reign of King Rama the third so sitting from King Rama the third and I mentioned to you earlier Khao San Road during the reign of King Rama the fifth so this obviously predates it Racha Wara Viharan and you can see some buses in the area I guess the only thing I don't like about the area here here Khao San Road is that it's quite tricky to get to actually there's no metro stop or skytrain stop that's close to it well I think the closest one is about a kilometer and a half perhaps away from here so it would have been a lot better if there was a metro stop on its doorstep so to speak and yeah not the most aesthetic of pictures that I'm showing you now but just to give you an indication of how much construction there is in the area we're obviously planning for a big tourist injection this year 2024 and maybe that's a nice segue to tell you a bit more about my plans for 2024 as well because I'm also planning more traveling and I know some of you have asked me what my plans are the big news I guess is that I will be doing a lot more traveling because I'm taking some time off work I'm taking a sabbatical later this year and some of the time however I will spend with my family in South Africa and the other part of it I intend to do some traveling for sure so if you've got any ideas of places that you'd like to see or that you think I should visit and frequent let me know in the comments certainly coming back to Thailand is an option in fact one of the main reasons for doing a Thailand trip and doing a short series is so that I can get an idea of how much traveling I can actually do in a specified time frame and I mentioned to you in my first video here in this Thailand series in fact one of the first things I said was that I didn't have a set itinerary and that was on purpose so that I can see for myself how much 
intuitive traveling, if that is a phrase. How much intuitive traveling I can do in a set period. So it's almost like a recce tour for me to figure out how to travel for extended periods of time. And just to show you more of a city here, so yeah, more 420 friendly places. There's more street food sellers here. More clothes over there as well. Yeah, definitely a big tourist hotspot this. So what I'm also telling you is that I will really try to build this YouTube channel. And absolutely my aim is to make a lot more videos during my sabbatical for sure. So yes, if you've got any ideas of places that I should go and visit, let me know. Look at that new construction, joining the older architecture in the city. Check out the natural leaf, right next to the Buddhist temple. Alright guys, this is where I'm staying, Bangkok cozy home. I've been told I'm one of the first people to stay here. They only literally open up, so you can see they still renovating the place yeah so they are busy painting it and decorating it and this is where i'm staying check it out this is a family room that i got and i got the family room because i mentioned they are busy setting up the place and this is one of the first rooms i've got ready so even though i booked the double they upgraded me to the family room so thank you very much to them here but yeah, nice and spacious. And you can see uh, there's a fan, there's a little desk for my computer where I can do some video editing if I want. There's a place to hang my coats. And there's a TV as well. And of course the mirror, how's it guys? And here you can see the toilet and the shower all in one room, one little space. And that is very common in Asia. And yes, they do have this thing here to clean yourself, but they also thankfully have some toilet paper. Yeah, so loving all the space, and it's a very, very quiet spot as well. Yeah, close to Khao Sun Road, and I paid 600 baht for one night, which I think is exceptional value. And I really do wish them well. They've only recently opened and I really hope that they attract a lot of business. They're in the right area, that is for sure. And yes, 600 baht, and I think there's a continental breakfast as well tomorrow. They also have a shuttle service to the airport that costs around 200 baht. I might take the S1 bus though that runs from Khao San Road to the airport, the big airport. Obviously there's two in Bangkok, but the big international one and Khao San Road is connected with the S1 bus. And I think it's only 60 baht, so if you're thinking of coming to Thailand and looking to get to the airport from here, hopefully that's of use. Right, and I just went to the 7-Eleven, got a water there for 14 baht. And I seem to remember that elsewhere in the city it was 11. And I even mentioned, you'll remember when I was in Koh Lan, that it was 14 there, that it was inflated. Maybe my mind was just playing tricks on me and that it's 14 at every single 7-Eleven. And the other thing I bought for 39 baht, so just under 40, not cheap for Thailand, but you got banana crisps, salted flavor. I just thought this looks very, very novel. Let's have a look at what it looks like. There's a salted banana crisp or chip, as we would say in South Africa. Here it goes. I can barely taste the banana. Oh, I can't taste banana, I can only taste the salt. It tastes exactly like plain salted crisps. So, wow. I think the banana flavor is completely lacking. But let's try another one. There's maybe a little bit of banana, a hint of banana when you first taste it, but as soon as you start chewing it, it goes away, so a little bit disappointing perhaps. Yeah, I expected more from a 40 baht, a 39 baht bag of crisps at 7-Eleven. The more I'm having of it, 
the more I'm growing to it. So I am now on my sixth or seventh trip over here. And it's actually starting out to be nice because it's actually very light on the stomach. I don't feel full at all, which maybe is a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing. And I'm hoping because it's banana that it will be healthier than other potato crisps, but hey, let's, uh, let's not worry too much about that. Right, after some banana crisps, I'm back here on the streets of Bangkok. And it's properly night time now. And you can see people clearing up the shops as well and all the Thai flags getting lowered. And I'm not going to walk too far, but I'm just going to give you a glimpse of Bangkok at night in this part of town. And you can see people still getting out and about around the city. Lots of motorcycles. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now this one, I'll let you pass. Even though it's a pedestrian crossing. So I'll never understand the traffic here in Bangkok or in Thailand in general. There just seems to be no rules when it comes to pedestrian crossings. Even though they've got the number there, 13, 12, counting down until it turns red. And you got the green man. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this brief series here in Thailand. Obviously, a bit of a short one. And yeah, I'm very conscious I've barely scratched the surface here in Thailand and even in Bangkok. There's so much more to see and experience. But would I recommend Thailand as a place to visit based on my limited experience? The caveat of my limited experience. And I thought long and hard about this question because I, I guess I'll start by saying I'm a very experienced traveler and I've learned to take any experience as a positive experience, if that makes sense. So I view any type of traveling as a cultural education. So Thailand might not be the easiest place to visit for everyone. That is what I'll say. There's certainly some things here that might not necessarily be the cup of tea of many so if you're in Pattaya for example if you don't like old American or German British men holding hands with Thai women then that's maybe not the place for you also if you struggle with your breathing and you want the best air quality possible to accompany you on your trip then Bangkok may not be the place for you but ultimately as I said traveling for me is about getting a cultural education and on that front Thailand is absolutely worth it you definitely should come yes there might be strange cultural practices Yes, the air quality may not be fantastic. Yes, the food might be different and you might eat some scorpions on sticks. But that is all part of the experience. And if you're willing to embrace it, if you're willing to test yourself, Thailand could be a wonderful teacher. So if you're willing to store all your biases and your specific ways of thinking, if you're willing to store that in the overhead compartment, in the aeroplane, leave it there and come to Thailand with an open mind. And you might just have a wonderful cultural education. Thailand, the land of the free, can be a wonderful teacher and form a crucial part of your cultural education. And how fitting that we are here at the Democracy Monument. Yeah, in the land of the free. And I can't think of a better time to end this vlog and to end this series than right here. Guys, if you haven't done it yet, please press the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment for me in the comment section. That's it for now. I will see you in the next series. Cheers, take it easy.